Welcome to the sunny, popular, and warm Benidorm town in Costa Blanca, Spain. Let's have a short walking tour today down the famous Poniente Beach promenade and discover everything it has to offer. Join us on this tour. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share our videos to reach even more Benny lovers. We start today's video right next to the Dove Park, the famous Dove Park or Park of Elche. And it's weekend. It's Saturday when we are filming this video, one day before you actually see it. And there's a lot of people out here. By the way, you can also see these digital iPads digital boards where shortly right up by the summer season start we will have some useful information about benidorm so they've installed them but they need to try them out and download there some useful information for the tours probably there will be some maps there will be an overall information about benidorm maybe some public transport details that would be really really nice and much more useful tips about Benidorm town. Maybe even a schedule of what to see or what to do. Who knows? Right at the Dove Park, there's a lot of people, a lot of doves, usually. They live here the whole year long. Some people ask us about where they actually live in winter. They live exactly where they are right now, right here on the trees and on the giant ficus trees that we have right above our heads right by the dove park where they're located there are brand new bicycle stations these ones right here they've installed more of them so it's a safe bicycle parking spot and it's actually very very nice you just uh, receive a message with the key you lock and unlock it very very comfortably and it's free of charge right here on these ficus trees is where the doves actually live the whole year around even in winter even in summer all year long that's their home with gorgeous privileged views of the mediterranean sea there are many people here around some of them are just sitting down enjoying the sunshine having a nice conversation others are walking down the promenade Third ones are at the beach by the sand. There are some children's playgrounds here too. And in summer, this is where they install the Biblio Playa, which is the library on the beach. There is one on the Levante Beach and on the Poniente Beach. It's only in summertime. It's a mobile library, so that's why it's not here the whole year long. And they have a small part where children actually have some activities. These activities are free of charge. You don't need to pay for it. Usually it's painting, some manual work, crafts, uh, some nice things for children to entertain. Maybe some dancing, some music. These types of activities, if you have children or grandchildren, are happening all around the area. For sure, I do know it's here in Benidorm on the Poniente Beach. On the Levante Beach, probably too, in summertime, especially July and August, once the school is over. And then in Albir, we also have a beach library, which is where you also have a lot of these activities. But once again, it's only on peak season, which is July and August. If it's small children, they need to be supervised by adults, so you just cannot leave the child there. But if it's slightly um, older age, then you can be somewhere nearby at the beach and just check on them every now and then. Time just flies and not so long ago, it was November fiestas in Benidorm, not so long ago we were ice skating by the ice skating rink near the town hall for Christmas fair and all the three king celebrations not so long ago it was really really colder type of winter but now it's already almost summer season we cannot believe how fast time flies and you can tell because there is more and more people each and every single week here in town also there's a lot of people who are traveling with their pets we've met our subscribers with their doggies Quite often, actually, in Rincon de Loich, especially, I suppose, because they're staying at a lot of campsites that are situated around. And it's nice to see people even traveling with their beloved pets and companions. 
and a lot of people are choosing campsites right now with their mobility home with their small vans others choose hotels there is a lot of nice hotels here by the poniente beach for example right there in front we have montemar we have a lot a lot of others that are three two or three star hotels nice budget options not too expensive i must say not the cheapest ones either but not too expensive it's all right normally priced here you also have some toilets just in case you need to go there there is an open air gym which is this one and they've put specific surface right there like an artificial grass just in case if someone falls down or something happens it's way more comfortable like this and all of it is brand new by the way then we have some more playgrounds for children by the way the poniente beach here by the dove park it's where the biggest amount of children's playgrounds are located at one specific place uh, depending on the ages you will find something for your children or grandchildren too right behind it we have the h10 porto poniente hotel four star superior hotel which is actually open back again look at that we have already first tourists of a brand new season enjoying their holidays oh people are just sitting down at their terraces with the sun shining on them so warm so nice overlooking the mediterranean sea and the island of benidorm and there's someone swimming and shouting probably that's because it's too cold there's someone literally swimming right now i wouldn't dare let us know if you would actually swim knowing that it's less than six it's around 16 degrees the water temperature right now so it's quite cool but someone is very brave to get into the sea at this time of the year right here we start with some more bars saitoki is a very nice place it's northern spanish they have a lot of tapas they have a lot of snacks nice drinks and in general it's average price so it's not too expensive and you get the views to all this promenade some more nice hotels for example this one right here three stars hotel marconi they've refurbished some parts of the hotel so it's looking really nice and cozy right now with a pop of color bar restaurant la pinta beach as well for rices fish meat and some snacks and drinks there's a lot of newer places out here uh, that are opening up just right now or are about to open shortly also the poniente beach obviously it's great for sports it's great just for normal walks and not so long ago it was closed for usual traffic this part of the poniente beach usually is only allowed if you are residents if you are going on a public transport if you're going by mobility scooter a bicycle or um, any other type of mobility device transport plus if you have a hybrid vehicle then you are allowed to pass through this area but it's only 10 kilometers per hour this, which is why it was painted with a different color it was painted green so it's just to show that not everyone can pass here like attention not everyone can pass through this area so it's way quieter than it used to be previously and we really really immensely appreciate it right here we have all the gorgeous views of the poniente beach the hotel bali right there in front everything is clean nice tidy the sun is shining we have the one of the main avenues right where the rh corona del mar hotel is located and a lot of the rooms are overlooking the poniente beach too and this avenue if you go straight up non-stop up until the um up until the top up until the crossroads and continue your way up you will find the tram the benidorm tram which connects either with alicante or with denia and in between you have a lot of useful stops such as san juan campello you have alicante then on the other side you have uh, via joyosa as well altea alfaz del pi albir calpe teulada Denia and much much more and if you're a fan of traveling you could always get a card for 24 hours or 10 trips card which 
Actually, 24 hours is the best if you plan on traveling both with the bus and the tram because all your trips during the next day will be covered with this card and it actually makes a lot of sense if you want to use the public transport to explore the region. And there is a lot, there is a lot you can see in our gorgeous and lovely area of Costa Blanca, all beyond Benidorm. By the way, if you're interested in some night entertainment, if you're interested in what's going on in different night pubs, uh, clubs, and uh, in general about all the shows, uh, some recommended places to visit, we are partners with the first ever website based in UK about Benidorm and beyond Benidorm. Their official website is www.benidormandbeyond.com. This one right here below and we do work with them to make sure we provide complete information about Benidorm for you to be able to plan your holidays in the best way possible. So check out their website if you still did not do so. They even have a blog about us where we talk a little bit about ourselves, about my personal journey to Benidorm and why we started this channel and they have also information about our private premium tours in Benidorm and beyond it. So check it out if you still did not do so and let us know what you think about our blog section. We'll be really, really curious to see your opinion. Here by the Poniente Beach, apart from all the businesses such as bars, restaurants and cafeterias, you can also find places where you can buy press, some newspapers, even souvenirs, candy. There's a supermarket which is considered a local supermarket where the prices are slightly more affordable than in the 24-hour ones. Then you have sports bars, you have ice cream places, you have shops where you can purchase different types of clothing accessories shoes even sports were slightly further along you have a place where you can purchase uh, some sportswear shoes as well if you want to explore the area in a more comfortable way benny park playa as well bar cafeteria restaurant if you see all these places are quite busy people love sunshine especially those who are coming from outside who are coming from the colder countries maybe where the sun is not shining as often as it does here remember in benidorm we have almost the record we have more than 300 days of overall sunshine which is quite a lot it's the vast majority of the year which is why for us the sun is something obvious, it's something usual, we're used to it. We even try and avoid it by wearing sun hats, sunglasses, putting a lot of sunscreen, 50 plus, and uh, not staying on the sunny terraces. But for those who do not tend to see the sunshine as often, it's more than obvious to go to the sunny terrace and spend there as much of a time as they can during the day. For example, Poniente Beach, this looks a newly branded place. I think they've changed the logo or something. Poniente Beach beer and cocktail place. Probably they also sell some snacks because I've seen people eating something out there. So it's not only beer and cocktails. And look at this. Oh my goodness. There is a, there is a slight smell here in the air. That's because they've planted the municipal hall. They've planted a lavender authentic lavender oh how nicely it goes on the wind it's lovely they've planted fresh um, authentic lavender here on the corner by the promenade and you have this really really sophisticated light smell especially when the wind is blowing which is actually really pleasant while you're having a lovely walk out here and let's see what the beach is looking like. Obviously, the beach right now, it's winter. There's not a lot of algae here. It Usually, it's not the case here in the area. And even so, even if there is a tiny bit, they will start cleaning it very, very soon for the new season. This right here was, I think it was a feet cle foot cleaning like thing. And it got uh, damaged with the uh, waves. So, they need to make sure it's all fixed like the water platform but all the rest is really really nice by the way the brand new platform that you've just seen 
goes through a lot of different parts here of the Poniente Beach. It's comfortable. It's not wood. It's plastic, but it looks like wood, which is really much appreciated because you won't get anything like wood stuck in your fingers. You won't get anything stuck anywhere. And it's a lovely platform. It doesn't get so warm, at least for now in summer. We'll see. Probably it will be. But it's great because you can actually walk by the bottom part of the sea and you do not need to go to the crowded promenade in summer there is also quite a lot of people that just sit down or lay down on this particular platform if they do not like the sand we've seen quite a lot of people do that including right now in winter months some people are walking bare feet uh, actually i mean it's healthy but for us, it's still slightly too cold, I must say. And this is the overall atmosphere today by the Poniente Beach. And as you could have seen, there are people just laying down on the platform, as we've said, enjoying the sun. Right now, it's not too hot any longer. It's past 4 p.m. So the sun is already going towards the sunset. It going towards south and very very soon in a couple of hours the sun will be setting down in our gorgeous town incredible views the atmosphere of almost summer season is here a lot of people are having some lovely walk by the sea or on the promenade enjoying the views fresh air the smell of lavender and very warm and nice rays of sunshine this is what the atmosphere is looking like and this is what it's expecting you if you're coming on holidays very very soon to Benidorm town. Make sure to explore everything our region has to offer. Thank you for accompanying us in today's short, lovely, sunny, gorgeous walking tour. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in a new one tomorrow with the latest news update. Bye, geez.